From Kung Fu kicking on the silver screen to flunking Parenting 101, here's the dish on why Jackie Chan's daughter hates him. You know that guy who's been doing flying kicks and punches since most of us were in diapers? Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about the one and only, the kung fu legend himself, Jackie Chan. The dude's been on our screens thrilling us with his high-octane action sequences and cracking us up with his killer comedic timing for, like, forever. I mean, think about it. Jackie was already making waves in the movie scene when he was just a little tyke of five in the swinging 60s. Yep, the dude's been around that long. And he's not just your run-of-the-mill actor, either. Nah, what sets him apart from the rest of the action heroes are his insane martial arts skills. He's got some serious kung fu chops. And you know the craziest part? In his early career, the actor did all his stunts. No stunt doubles, no safety nets, just pure adrenaline. Talk about living on the edge, right? Now this homegrown hero from Asia didn't just settle for fame in his backyard. No, sir. He packed his bags in the 80s and Hollywood welcomed him with open arms. And boy, did he quickly become a hot ticket with everyone wanting a piece of his action. But the cherry on top? The Academy handed him an honorary Oscar in 2016, tipping their hats to his epic contributions to the movie industry. And why not? The guy's a living legend! And at the ripe old age of 69, he's sitting pretty on a cool 400 million bucks. That's right, 400 million! Now that's a serious chunk of change. Goes to show all those flying kicks paid off, huh? Now we all know the internet's a wild place, right? Where things are not always what they seem. Case in point, there's this video that's been blowing up on Twitter of the stuntman getting all teary-eyed with his daughter while they're watching clips of his old stunts. I mean, it's a full-on Kleenex moment, and the world understandably sees him as this real softy when it comes to his kid. Thousands of retweets, hundreds of thousands of likes, and everyone's feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. But hold up, plot twist, it's not his daughter. Nope, it's all make-believe. This gut punch of a scene is actually from the actor's latest flick, Ride On, where he's playing, well, himself, a former stuntman who becomes a social media sensation overnight when his scuffle with debt collectors hits the net. And the so-called daughter? That's Liu Hao-kun playing the role of Xiao Bao, the on-screen kiddo of Chan's character, Lao Luo. And boy, does she know how to tug at the heartstrings. At one point, she asked Lao if he was in pain during his stunts. His reply, a lot. Cue the waterworks. But the internet, being the internet, thought it was a real-life father-daughter moment. One tweet that got major traction was like, Jackie Chan and his daughter crying while watching some of his old movie scenes is the most wholesome thing you'll watch today. Thanks for our childhood legend. And bam! Almost 90,000 retweets, over 400,000 likes, and a whole lot of feels. But in the real world, Jackie's real daughter's relationship with him is a far cry from the on-screen tearjerker. And it's a messy story. Get ready because we're about to get into some serious family drama. Meet Etta Ng, Chan's actual daughter. The twist, she's a lesbian and the actor's not okay with it. Back in 2017, she stepped into the limelight but wasn't kicking butt like her dad. Nope. Instead, she shook up the internet by coming out as gay on Instagram. Yep, you heard right, and her girlfriend, Andy Autumn, a Canadian social media hotshot, put all rumors to rest by confirming they were an item. As you'd expect, the internet went bananas. Fans showered them with so much love and positivity, it left them gobsmacked. Now, here's where it gets really juicy. The following year, the Lovebirds dropped this bombshell on YouTube. They claimed they'd been forced to live on the streets because their folks couldn't deal with them being gay. In a video that has since been taken down, they went into detail about their struggles from sleeping under bridges to being neglected by various support services. But Etta's mom wasn't about to take all this lying down. She fired back, saying in a nutshell, you're broke, go get a job and stop trying to use your dad's fame as a free ticket. She called them out for trying to get a free ride, pointing out that people all over the world have to work hard to make ends meet. 
But it turns out, the claims made by Etta, that Jackie ditched her because she's gay. Well, let's just say that's not the entire story. The truth is, the actor had already disowned her. So how did we get here? Let's wind back the clock a bit. In the 80s, the actor was hitched to Joan Lynn, but his life wasn't exactly a picture-perfect romantic flick. In 1999, the world found out about his little rendezvous with Elaine ing -Yilay. Yeah, the beauty queen who was nearly two decades younger than him. But wait, there's more! Turns out Elaine was also pregnant with Chan's kid. In a press conference, he fessed up saying, I'm not a saint, I've done something wrong. He tried to downplay it, as if he'd just pocketed an extra fortune cookie or something. He'd begged for forgiveness from his wife and their son JC, and just like that, his little escapade was swept under the rug and was never brought up again. But here's where it gets dicey. It's said that as soon as he found out Elaine was pregnant, he went radio silent on her. And as far as we know, he's never met his daughter, nor did he whip out his checkbook to support her upbringing. But Ed is not the only kid he couldn't care less about, so here's the thing. Jackie and JC were once two peas in a pod, even buddying up on screen in his 100th film, 1911. It wasn't exactly a blockbuster hit. In fact, it's considered Chan's least profitable film to date. But hey, it's the thought that counts, right? Fast forward to 2014 and things go sour real quick. Junior gets nabbed for having marijuana and turning his pad in Beijing into a 420 friendly joint. The fallout? A six month vacation behind bars. And you've got to feel for Jackie here. Imagine being China's anti-drug poster boy since 2009 and having your son caught red-handed with weed. Talk about a PR nightmare. The actor publicly apologized, admitting he was extremely furious. Despite this bumpy ride, the father-son duo somehow kiss and make up after JC's stint in the slammer. Chan even confesses that he feels his son has grown up. But plot twist, the actor drops the bomb that his mega fortune isn't gonna be handed to his son on a silver platter. His view, if JC can earn his keep, great. If not, he'd just be blowing through Jackie's hard-earned cash. Seriously, this dude couldn't care less if his kids are suffering. Sounds like his public persona's just a front. You know, looking at all this, it's hard not to feel for Etta. Born as the secret kid to Jackie Chen, she's been living in the shadow of a superstar dad who seemed to forget he was a dad when it came to her. So, you ask, what's so bad about being Chan's kid? Seems like it'd be pretty cool, right? But he wasn't around for her. Imagine that, your dad's one of the biggest action stars in the world, and he doesn't even have time for you. Then Etta comes out as gay. You'd think that in this day and age, that'd be a no big deal kind of thing. But nope, when she braved her way out of the closet, life didn't just throw lemons at her. It was like an entire citrus farm. Now, Jackie might have done some incredible stunts in his movies, but in real life, he's been a no-show. Hell, even when she was living under bridges, he was MIA. And seeing her dad getting all sentimental with his on-screen daughter, that's got a sting. But you know what's amazing about all this? Etta. She's dealt with the cards life handed her and is still standing. So she's had a bumpy ride. She's proven she's tough enough to handle it. She's her kind of action hero. As for Jackie, it's kind of a bummer to realize that the dude who kicked butt on the big screen couldn't keep it together when it came to his family. But I guess that just goes to show even celebrities can make some pretty big mess ups. Life. Am I right? From totally flunking Parenting 101 to Kung Fu kicking on the silver screen, this was the dish on why Jackie Chan's daughter hates him. 